Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Love of Biology. Today we are going to learn about monocot plant anatomy. Anatomy we know study of internal structure. So here monocot plant we are going to deal. So first step. So stem contains outer waxy cuticle is present next to that epidermis to protect it. But here you can see epidermal hair is absent. Next uh, Scleren chymatus that is dead cells containing hypodermis we see in the monocot stem with the chlorenchyma that is parenchyma with the chloroplast. Just a scattered vascular bundles you can see in the ground tissue nothing but the cortex they are not arranged in a specific order. If you see the ground plant the vascular bundles like this larger ones at the center and the peripheral small ones are present. Here, the vascular bundles does not contain the cambium because secondary growth is absent and phloem towards the peripheral and uh, xylem towards the center so radial symmetry we can see and they are surrounded with bundle sheath cells. Next coming to the root, root of monocot of course they contain the root hair for the absorption of the water and epidermis layer next uh, to that cortex uh, we can see at the center you can see the stele endodermis endodermis contains casparian stripes that is at the corner so they are deposited with the subarian waxy layer so this is a special character next to that pericycle is present inside you can see the phloem and xylem in the radial symmetry radial uh, order that is a uh, different radius vascular bundles xylem are many layered xylem we can see many thing many xylem Alternately, of course, phloem is present, but chemium is absent because secondary growth is absent here. At the center, we call it as a pith region or the medulla region we can see. So, this is the thing we can see in the monocotta root anatomy. Fine. Comparatively, in the dicots, these xylem are only four tetrarch in uh, condition but here it is polyarch many we can see xylem ones uh, whereas the protoxylem and metaxylem you can see the structure protoxylem and metaxylem also and covered with pericycle casparian stripes uh, where uh, subarin is uh, deposited and of course root hairs are present for the absorption and pili uh, ferrous layer is present so this is about the monocot root uh, ground plan root hairs will absorb the water and which are transported to the inner layers so xylem will transport to the upper regions so next coming to the leaf that is isobilateral parallel venation showing monocot leaf here upper and lower epidermis are present and both the epidermis stomata we can see and specialized epidermal cells guliform cells are present which helps in the rolling of leaf in the absence of the water and here one more important thing is mesophyll is not divided into spongy and the palisade parenchyma cells in between you can see the vascular bundles so these uh, this is the anatomy of the leaf thank you for watching please subscribe our channel thank you